Okay, so normally when I travel for work or for pleasure, I, I stick to kind of the chain hotels because they're, they're relatively inexpensive. I know what I'm getting. I get points and stuff. This time I decided uh, I would uh, I would kind of experiment. The door, of course, looks old, and this this uh, the hotel was built in 1990. I expect that a lot of these architectural choices are holdovers from 1990. We got inlaid cabinets here, dresser. It's uh some more for wear. Wood paneled cooler. They give me they did give me a free bottle of alcohol, which I probably won't drink. I doubt I will drink. A uh, mirror where you can see the state I'm in after not sleeping very well. And you know, this whole thing is like a it's like a dressing table with a night with a lot of light. And then here the bathroom. Bathroom everything in the bathroom looks updated except for the uh, the gaudy gaudy wallpaper. Like this is it's all cracked. We got another super gaudy light filled mirror, which is good, you know, it, at least, you know, they're, they're giving you a ton of light to, uh, to get yourself ready. You know, standard toilet, a window that looks out into the living room, and uh, not a bad shower. It uh, looks like it was replaced recently, and a bunch of handrails, uh, although it's, that's either because they know that their audience is aging or this is some kind of handicap room, or, or used to be a handicap room, but it is not labeled right now. Um, yeah, and we'll move on into the, the living room. All right, so we have our our couch and our table. Ultimately, that's okay. Here is one of our very, very tall and very loud lamps and end tables, and then we get to our curtain, our extremely loud curtain, and you know what, this is, this is going, I'm just going to kill that, uh, doesn't die right away, very professional, me turning off the fan during the, the show, so let's go over here to, this is a, a table, no, no desk, but there is a nice table with the, uh, I guess what I can describe as chairs. And then this, this chair, it's a upholstery problem. Uh, this mirror, half mirror, half window, you can look into the bathroom. Uh, if that's something that you want to do. You can, I mean, yeah, you can just see the toilet. The toilet is right there. And then our, uh, our nightstands, our phones, uh, and you can see this is these are, you know, they're worn, they're old. And again, I wonder if this is because we are in a smoking room. Uh, no USB ports in any of these lamps, like I have come to expect. And then I'm just going to go out and give you this wide view of this bed, a king size bed with whatever whatever monstrosity that is. And the bed is not very comfortable either. So if you want to stay at the Rio, this is a standard suite and this is the, this is the old building. Uh, the, I, I've stayed at the Rio before and I, the, the rooms were much nicer than this. Uh, again, maybe the, the, the non-smoking rooms are just not renovated, which is a possibility. I'll post another video if I if they actually do move me. I have to go to work, so I'm not sure I can... I probably will miss that window. Yeah, so this is what you get at Stay at the Rio. Yeah, so once you open the windows, of course, the entire room looks a lot more impressive. All right, so that that's yeah, that's that is not something to complain about. Uh, the view the view is okay. You get a lot of highway. You get a little resort across the street. Um, you can see I don't know what that one is. All the way over there, but there's the palms. 
and there's a Rio sign. And then you can see the Aria and the Cosmopolitan over there, and then another Rio sign. Um, and then you, off to the distance, you can just see like suburban Vegas. And uh, it was it was cheap. This room was. Uh, I just tried to open my door. I think someone just tried to open my door. <laughs>